In our previous video, we had a look at all the things that you will need like the hardware, software and skills required to get started with VR development in 2025. In today's video, we'll be taking more concrete steps towards building a VR application for the MetaQuest devices. So in today's video, you will see how to download and install Unity Editor, create a new project and import all the packages that you will need, set up your scene for VR development and test it onto your headset using the MetaQuest link. And finally, we'll see how to build the application onto your headset, which is really, really important. Now, if you don't have access to a headset yet, then don't worry, I'll show you how you can use a simulator to test your scene and make sure that you have set up everything correctly. Alright then, let's get started. The game engine of our choice today is Unity. It's a very powerful tool that lets you create games and experiences and the main reason for choosing this in 2025 is because most of the upcoming SDK is supported by Unity. Take Android XR for example. And also, Unity has a huge community which comes in handy when you're stuck somewhere and you're seeking some answers. So, to download Unity, head to unity.com, click on download and download Unity Hub for your OS. After that, follow the install instruction and open it up. So this is how Unity Hub will look like. Unity Hub basically lets you see all your projects in one place and manage them. It gives you access to a bunch of tutorials inside the learn tab and provides you link to the latest resources as well. It also lets you install different version of Unity Editor and that's what we want to do right now. Head to the installs tab and click on install editor. Here we want to install Unity 6 which is the latest long term support version out right now. The last two digits don't matter too much but make sure that you're installing Unity 6. So click on the install button and here make sure to check Android build support, open JDK, Android SDK, NDK tools and scroll down and select Windows build support IL2CPP. Now these modules will allow us to build our app for both standalone and PC VR headsets. Then click on continue, agree to the terms and condition and install the editor. Now it's going to take a while for it to get downloaded. So in the meantime, we can download some other softwares that we'll need. To make our lives easier, we have tools or softwares that allows us to test our application directly from the unit editor onto a headset without having to build the application every single time. Now we could use SteamVR which is a popular tool but since we are developing for MetaQuest devices, things become much easier if we just use the MetaQuest Link app. So head to the link given below and download this application. After installing, navigate inside Settings, General. And here, make sure to allow unknown sources and set MetaQuest Link as the active OpenXR runtime. Then, go inside Beta and here, make sure to enable developer runtime features, pass through over MetaLink and spatial data over MetaQuest Link. Now, if you are using the MetaQuest Pro, then you can even enable the eye tracking and natural facial expression. Then, go inside Devices and click on add headset. Now you can connect your headset using link or air link. You can choose either one of them and click on continue and set it up. Once you have your device set up, you should be able to see that it's connected and active. To be able to build application onto a headset, we need to enable the developers mode. For that, you need to download the Meta Horizon app, then navigate inside your profile, click on the hamburger menu, go inside devices, Select your device, click on headset settings, developers mode and here enable the developer mode. Alright, so with that we have all the development tools set up. Now going back to Unity Hub, once you have your editor installed, we can create a new Unity project. For that, navigate inside projects, select new project, make sure that you are using the right editor version. Here you can either select Universal 3D Core or 3D Built-in Render Pipeline. Then give your project a name and create the project. Alright, so once you have your Unity project open, this is how it will look like. You will have the hierarchy window where you will be able to see different objects that are added to the scene like the direction light and main camera here. Then you have the inspector window which tells you what are the different components added to that particular object. And then we have a scene view. Here you can move around and select different objects and place them where you like them to be. And then we have the game view. Now this is the view that the main camera will be able to see. Then we have the project window 
where you'll be able to find all the 3d models or anything that you add inside your project and finally we have the console window which will be useful to log errors warnings and other things while testing now as per your personal preference you can select each of this window and drag and drop it where you'd like to and arrange them now this is how i like it i have the hierarchy window here so that i can easily see what are the different components attached to it and then here i have my project window so that i can select any object and add it to the scene easily and then i have the game window down here so that i can see when i add an object how it looks like and i have my console window here all right now let's import all the packages that we'll need for vr development for that navigate inside windows select asset store here search for meta sdk select meta xr all-in-one sdk add it to your asset and then open it inside your unity editor and then click on install during installation it will ask you to restart the editor so let's do that once the project reopens you'll see that the meta xr sdk would have installed all the required packages for vr and mixed reality development apart from that you'll get a pop-up recommending you to use the open xr fans so let's select that now that we have all the required packages we can set up our unity project for that navigate inside file build profiles here if you're building for pc vr then you can stay in the windows platform however if you want to build for standalone devices then you can select android and switch the platform once that's done you can navigate inside player settings select xr plugin management and install the xr plugin management now the meta sdk supports both open xr plugin and oculus plugin but it makes it much easier if we use oculus plugin so let's select that both inside our android tab and the pc tab then you can go inside meta xr and here you will be able to see the project setup tool this will give you a list of all the issues and recommended settings so we can fix all of them and apply all the recommended settings as well now this was for the pc tab similarly navigate inside the android tab and fix all the issues and apply the recommended settings then Go inside player settings, change the default company name and scroll down, uncheck the override default package name and check it once again. Alright, so with that we have our Unity project set up for VR development. First, let's add a virtual environment. You can go to the Unity's asset store and search for VR environment and you get a ton of assets which you can buy or some of them are for free and you can import them inside Unity. But for now, Inside your project window, you can search for large room. Make sure the search is selected to all. Select the prefab and add it to your scene. Now you might get a pop-up asking you to import the text mesh pro essentials. Go ahead and do that. Then inside the project window, search for skybox gradient. Select this material and add it to your scene. All right, now that we have a virtual environment set up, we can now add a camera rig. Now camera rig is basically a setup that allows us to track our headset controller hands and see the VR environment. Now there are two ways in which this can be done. One is by using Meta's building blocks and second is by using a prefab that comes along with the packages. I'll show you both the ways. So let's start by seeing how we can add camera rig using the building blocks. For that, navigate inside Meta, Tools, Building Blocks. Now from this window, you can add the camera rig block. Now this creates the camera rig game object with the required components like OVR camera rig and OVR manager. Now you'll use the OVR manager component to set up different aspects of your project. For example, here the hand tracking support is set to controller only, which means that if you build this right now onto your headset, your hands will not be detected. So if you want hands only, you can select that. Or if you want both your controllers and your hands to get tracked, then you can select controller and hands. Similarly, there are other settings like track keyboard, virtual keyboard, scene support, pass through support and rest of them. Now you'll understand how to set up these parameters gradually as you build your VR application. Now if we have a look at its child objects, you'll see that it has tracking space to track our headset left hands and controllers and right hands and controllers. So right now it does not have any component inside it which tracks our controllers. This is something that we will have to add next. So if you want to add controller tracking from your building blocks, you can add controller tracking. So as you can see here, it has added these two game objects called as controller tracker left and right with all the required components required for it to track our controllers. And it also detects which controller you're using and renders the model accordingly. Next, to add hand tracking, you can scroll down and add virtual hands. Now this would have added four new game objects 
hand tracking left hand tracking right and synthetic left and right hands now the synthetic left and right hands are just for rendering whereas the left hand tracking and the right hand tracking have the required components for it to track your hands now here there's one change that we need to do and that is to select open xr so you can click on fix skeleton type and it automatically changes it to open xr left hand similarly select the right hand and fix the issue now to test if this setup works you can connect your headset using link or air link and inside your headset you can navigate inside settings select link and launch it and this is how your link environment will look like from within the headset and then all you have to do is press the play button and you should be able to see your virtual environment your hand should be tracked as well and then if you grab your controller it should automatically switch to the controller and that should be tracked as well now if you're able to do all of these it means that you have set up your project perfectly it's really important to build the application and test it on your headset as well here's a small experiment you can try it for yourself select the camera rig scroll down and inside the ovr manager you can set the hand tracking support to controller only and now press the play button and now as you can see here my hands are getting tracked even though i have the settings as controller only but if you try to build this onto your headset, you'll see that your hands will not be tracked because we have set it as controllers only. Now, this is just one of the examples where something works inside the Unity Editor and it will not work in the final build. And so it's really important to build it onto your headset. And to do that, you can navigate inside File, Build Profiles, open the scene list and add the open scenes. Then go back inside Android, click on Build and Run. Create a new folder called as builds. Give your file a name and click on save and save the changes to the scene as well. All right, so the application has been successfully built onto my headset. And as you can see here, it says that switch to controllers. I cannot use it with my hand tracking because I had disabled it inside my project. So let me grab the controller and click on continue. And here I'm able to see the virtual environment and my controllers are tracked as well. Now back here in Unity, you can select the camera rig and change this settings based on your requirement. Now there could be cases where you don't have access to your headset. Maybe you do not have battery, maybe you don't have batteries on your controllers, or maybe you just want to test a very small interaction without having to put on the headset. In such cases, you can use the XR simulator. To activate it, you can click on this icon over here, or you can navigate inside Meta, Meta XR simulator and activate it. And then when you press the play button, now this will open up the Meta XR simulator window and you can control it by using WASD to move forward, back, left and right. You can use R to go up and F to go down and you can use Q to rotate on the left side and E to rotate on the right side. And then if you want to select individual components like left controller, right controller or just the headset, you can do so by unchecking over here or you can toggle the bracket and now you can see now only the right control has been selected. You press the button once again and then the uh, left controller gets selected and then you press it once again and now your headset is selected. So you can select these individual components and then use once again WASD to move forward, left, right and even rotate about its point. Now based on the controller that you have selected, in this case the right controller, you can click on the left mouse button and it's going to press the trigger button. And to grab it, you can click on the scroll wheel twice. Now you can view all these key bindings by clicking on view key bindings over here and toggling this menu. Also, you can change the visuals from controllers to hand. All you have to do is come over here and change it from controller to hand. Now this was just to give you an idea of how to use the simulator. We have a dedicated video on how you can grab objects and use it completely. I will leave a link for that in the description. All right, so if you are able to set up your project, build it onto your headset and make sure that your head, hands and controller movements are tracked, 50% of your work is done. Now, the next step is to learn to add different type of interactions like grab interaction, rain interaction and poke interaction. If you're interested to learn these type of interactions, we have a dedicated video which you can check out over here or the link in the description below. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.